Hi there and welcome to today's how-to Photoshop video from Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers. Today we're going to be looking at an artist called Barbara Kruger. She's a very famous um, American conceptual artist. She did lots of black and white photographs and she had um, captions overlaid on her pictures of black and white faces and other things and she was a strong um, believer in feminism and her work quite often talked about things to do with that okay one of the key things is this red bordered white text over black and white images so that's what we're going to do today okay so first we're going to start with a photograph and we're going to turn it black and white so we're going to go to image adjustments black and white click OK we're going to do some adjustments to the image to make sure it really pops so we're going to make the contrast quite strong not quite that strong, make it a little bit darker so you can see the tones. And then what you can see from this one here, she does half it, it's like an X-ray. And we can do that in Photoshop really easily, doing a thing called invert. So I'm going to select half of the image to invert. Draw a rectangular marquee tool over that section. I'm going to go image, adjustments, and then I'm going to look for invert it's halfway down i click on that and it will then turn the image into a x-ray style image press ctrl d to deselect the area now you can see i've got a similar um thing going on i might just enhance the brightness and contrast again give it a bit more contrast and make it a little bit darker so we can really notice that this is now an x-ray style image. Okay, what we need to do next is using the rectangular marquee tool again. We're going to draw some rectangles, which we will then fill with some red. So to fill with red, what we need to do is first of all find the paint bucket. If it's not there, it will be behind the gradient tool. If it is there, we need to select some color to put in it we want a red so we're going to scroll down the color bar and scroll up to the corner to get a deep red we then I'm going to do this on a new layer so that we can then move them around press the paint bucket tool into that area press D select we've now got one rectangle once we've got one we can make more so we can duplicate the layer click OK and now you can see I've got two and I need one more small one, so I'll duplicate the layer one more time. Right clicking, duplicate layer. Oh, not delete layer. Duplicate layer. Click OK, and this one I'll use the move tool. Make sure I get the right one. Move it and then rescale it. So these are my text boxes. And what I need to do now is to add some text to my image. Apply. So, what we're going to do is use the type tool, which is here. We are going to select the font up here, and we're looking for sort of a Helvetica font if they've got one. Have a look in here. Yeah, we will go for a Gil Sands to start with. Now, it's already in white, but if it wasn't, we'd change the color of it here. You can see we've moved it up to the corner. We will then look at the size. At the moment, you can see it's too big, so we'll bring the size down. We can type any size we want in here. I'm going to try 100. I'm going to try 72, see what that looks like. Maybe go a little bit higher, go to 100. And then try typing in. So your body, and you can see that if we're not happy with the size, we can rescale it however we would like.
Now we've got the text the right size and the right color. So the easiest thing to do is just duplicate it and then change the actual writing in it. So duplicate that there. Put that there. Make sure we put them above all the writing at the top and all the spaces underneath. So we'll duplicate it one more time. And then we have got three lots of text. So there's one there. One there, one there. So we want to change what's written on the text. So we click on the layer, make sure we get the right layer of text. We click back on the text tool. Nobody is a and then we think of another comment down here. Body is she live. Right. So I've written a slogan like this. Make sure that fits in the box. Now you can change the size as I mentioned earlier. And I think I'll make this one a little bit bigger still. And also I might just move it up slightly. I don't like the size of that box, so I'm going to click on the layer of the box and I'll make the box a bit smaller as well. And there you have it, there is your Barbara Krieger response, I'll save as. Click OK. Now, obviously, you can do lots of different versions using lots of different photographs to begin with. OK, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and make sure to click the subscribe button. And there are plenty more in the playlist. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.